What's up, guys? Stas here. So we're going to break down Barnes & Noble in this video. BNED is the ticker. We're going to break down the charts, do an update here on the stock, my thoughts, what's going on behind the scenes here, and we'll break down the options chain later in the video, which you guys, you're going to want to see that. So hit the like button, make sure to subscribe, and of course, check out my Patreon if you guys want to be a part of the Discord. See me build out my private portfolio. You get my charts and ideas throughout the week. All of that down below on Patreon or check out the link here and the QR code. And with that being said, guys, got the water right here. Cheers. And let's dive right into the video. Actually, let me slide this right here out of the way of the camera. There we go. And let's get into it. So Barnes and Noble stock again, ticker symbol BNED is up a whopping 18% today on the day up around 11 cents and we're actually up a lot more than that off the lows from yesterday you guys can see yesterday we hit 51 cents in the morning and now we're at 74 cents we're up around 50 percent you heard that right 46 percent to be exact but i like rounding up here guys so we're going to say 50 percent we're up big time. We're up big time off the lows from yesterday. And yesterday, we uh, we actually triple topped at around 72, 73 cents. And notice how today we ripped right through that. We broke right through that high from yesterday, which is a really good sign. And here on the intraday chart, you guys can see all the higher lows that we've been making on the chart here since yesterday, which is a really good sign. So overall, you guys probably remember I made a video, I think it was about a week ago, maybe a little over a week ago about this stock, and we nailed the trade. You guys probably remember we saw a huge move last week. Let me actually pull up this 10 day chart. Yeah, it was last week. Well, actually it was the end of the week before last week. We saw Barnes and Noble go from 20 cents roughly to 60 cents. Then we pulled back on that following Monday, which was the Monday from last week. And that's where I bought calls. You guys probably remember I bought the June, what was it? June 21st. We'll take a look at the options chain in a second here, but I bought the June 21st. I think the dollar 50 calls, um, or was it the dollar calls? Crap. I forget now. I think it was actually, um, it was the dollar calls and clearly we nailed that trade considering when I bought those calls on that Monday, they were at 10 cents and I dumped them on Wednesday, not at the peak, which if I did, I would have made a lot more money, but I dumped them on Wednesday at about 40 cents. If I remember correctly, um, yeah, about 40 cents per contract. So I made a pretty good amount of money there on the BNED calls I bought last week. Then we cooled off a bit. And now by the looks of it, by the looks of the charts, it looks like we're getting ready for round two, potentially not guaranteed, of course, guys. And by the way, this stock is very risky. You could potentially lose all of your money. So keep that in mind. But clearly, guys, look on this 10 day, 30 minute chart, Yes, we are down about 50% from that $1.40 high, roughly $1.35. We're down about 40%, 50%, but it looks like the uptrend is holding, right? We have a higher low right here at $0.15, cents. another one right here, boom, $0.26, cents. and you guys can see these higher lows here as well. So clear as day, BNED is continuing the uptrend, and as of now, as of today on the 30-minute chart here, we're breaking back over the 180 moving average, which is a really good sign overall for the bull. So yeah, charts look pretty good on BNED right now, up 15% on the day. And according to Fintel here, let me actually pull this up and show you guys, this is trading. And I think there's an ad right here. Uh, sorry about that, guys. They're trying to get me um, to join the list. No, thanks, guys. No, thank you. No, thank you. But we can see here the short interest percentage. Um, yeah, the short interest percentage of the float is 18 percent, um, according to Fintel here, which I think they're pulling um, this uh, this data from the New York Stock Exchange Capital IQ as well. Uh, but yeah, pretty decent short interest. And to be honest, it's probably more than that. We'll see. Who knows? But yeah, decently high short interest stock. And that was part of our thesis when I bought the calls about a week ago, a little over a week ago. 
And, you know, I was saying how it's a high short interest play. We already saw the momentum from that previous Friday where it went up from 15, 20 cents to over 60 cents. And the overall story here with Barnes & Noble is pretty interesting. The company reported, I think, $1.5 billion of revenue last year, and the market cap is at $30 to $50 million. It's a pretty cheap company, guys, pretty much trading at pennies on the dollar because obviously there's a lot of shorts here. They're pricing in bankruptcy, essentially, but I don't think this company is going bankrupt. I I don't necessarily think... That's the case. And let me come over here to the options chain, and you'll see all these uh, funny plays that I have here that have gone to zero. And by the way, this is Robinhood, and this is my fun account. I put a couple hundred bucks in here sometimes, play with the money a little bit, make some crazy moves, and then I take the money out if I make a profit. And in this case, guys, uh, with the calls that I have open, they are not looking good at all. You guys can see here I have AMC $9 calls at the top right, which they're down 60% today, and they're going to expire worthless unless a miracle happens um, You know, over the next two days here. So those are going to expire worthless. And probably the SoFi $14 calls as well that I bought a couple months ago, uh, those are going to expire worthless. And granted, I only bought a contract for AMC, a contract for, you know, SoFi. It's not the end of the world. Um, it's not a big deal. That was money that I was willing to lose. And BNED, which was in this account as well, I made some money on it, locked the profit in, and I took the money out, right? It was a couple hundred bucks, nothing crazy. Think like five, six hundred bucks, something like that from a $100 investment. I know. Call me crazy, guys. Call me crazy. But yeah, now I'm looking to maybe re-enter BNED, right, with some calls. Let me actually show you this. So BNED is the ticker, obviously, and if this thing wants to load, we'll be able to see what's going on here on the options chain. There we go, guys. Let's pop it up. Let's see what's going on. So you guys can see if I get my big old head over here to the bottom right. There we go. We can see what we got going on here. We have the calls that are expiring on June 21st. I'm pretty sure they don't have other dates, right? Yeah, that, that's the only one in the short term. So June 21st, we have the dollar calls, which I bought last week. Yeah, I'm pretty sure those were it, not the dollar fifty calls. The dollar calls I bought last week, those are trading now at $0.30 cents, uh, for a contract. So I bought 10 of those to give you guys an idea at $0.10. Cents. So even if I held on to now... I wouldn't have made as much as I did when I locked in my gain last week, but I'd still be up from 10 cents to 30 cents a contract. Pretty good, guys. And these are the ones that, honestly, I'd be looking at for re-entry if I'm looking um, to trade BNED. Or if I want some more risk, I'd go for the $1.50 strike price, which those are trading at 20 cents right now. And if we go out a little bit more, let's say July 19th, which is 51 days away, to give you guys some more time, maybe the, um, oh wow, looks like the July 19th calls are trading at the same price for the dollar calls here at 30 cents. Interesting, looks like uh, we got a decent open interest on that. 4,900, you guys can see here for the 30, uh, for excuse me, for the dollar calls expiring in July. So pretty much, guys, if I am looking to re-enter this trade, I'm not really looking to buy shares per se, but I'd be considering uh, the dollar calls again pretty much, right? But I'm going to be careful because, again, I made money on this trade. I don't want to give that money back to the markets, right? So I'm not necessarily all gun ho on going all in and getting back into the stock. But if I see the opportunity, which look at that, the dollar calls just popped up five cents. You guys see that right here. Now they're at 35 cents. So that would have been a quick day trade as I'm making this video if I just hopped in and out, right? Uh, But if I'm feeling it, I might get back in. I might get back in here on the BNED calls. And let's say we go crazy and, you know, buy the $2 calls that expire in July. Those are trading for 20 cents right now. And of course, the farther out you go in terms of or the higher the strike price, the higher profit you could potentially make if the stock gets there. But mind you guys, we're at 73 cents. The odds of this going to over $2.00. By July, in less than 60 days, it's kind of low, but never say never. 
never say never. The odds, yeah, they're kind of low, but with a high short interest stock, you never know, man. You never know. Imagine if you bought, you know, the 35 cent dollar calls that expire in July and this thing went to $5, for example. You'd make so much money. It's disgusting. I, I don't even know the math on that. But, man, it'd be thousands of, of percent probably um, at that point, right? I mean, geez, at one point, guys, I was almost up 1,000% last week. And the stock didn't even go that, I mean, I guess it did go up 100% the day after I bought it. But, yeah, I guess it did go up a lot. But, yeah, man, if it went up 500% from where it is today, yeah, these calls would be going up like crazy. So what do you guys think about BNED? You know, I'm not in it right now. I think it's one of the more promising meme plays though. As of now, guys, I think FFIE, a lot of these other ones are kind of done in my opinion. Those charts look terrible on GameStop, AMC, you name it. But BNED still looks like it's cooking, man. It looks like it's pretty decent. So I'm watching it. I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments. Smash that like button. Feel free to subscribe. And don't forget to check out the Patreon if you guys want to be a part of the Discord, see my charts and ideas throughout the day. And if you guys want to see me build out my private portfolio, which by far is the best perk of the Patreon, check it out. Link down below the QR codes right here. Or just go to stasurfast.com slash Patreon. And with that, that being said, cheers. I'll catch you guys in there.